Hey, what's going on? Muriel from the Sunshine Family. And if you are moving to Costa Rica or thinking about moving to Costa Rica, and you wonder, should I be learning Spanish in Costa Rica? Should I learn it now? Help me out, Muriel. How did you do it? Well, what you should do or what you must do, I'm gonna leave that up to you after watching, of course, my full video so I can inform you fully based on what I've learned myself. And that is the core of my channel. Probably if you're not new to my channel, you already learned that everything I share is what I learned myself. And so I'm not the Costa Rica expert. Uh, I do not know everything. I'm not here the longest person, um, but I'm just sharing. I'm taking the, the, the time and effort to share what I've learned since so many people ask me questions. Now, uh, I definitely, I have a lot to say about learning Spanish in Costa Rica um, before and after my move to Costa Rica. And if you wonder how are you speaking Spanish, do you have tips, do you have tricks, do you have keys, uh, I'm going to share them all with you, literally like without editing, without um, making it more pretty than you wanted to hear and also to give you inspiration and that's my biggest that's my biggest goal to get to give you inspiration now it's super windy i'm sitting at the beach here at el carmen i don't know if that rings any bells it's rainy season costa rica but i still love it i'm actually sitting on my raincoat because uh five minutes ago it was like totally the, the sky broke super wet but i love these days because there's no one else at the beaches my dog loves it anyways. So I'm here and I thought, why not making this video about learning Spanish in Costa Rica, especially for those who are thinking about moving to Costa Rica. If you're brand new to my channel, and this is a surprise who, where I come from out of the blue, uh, learn a little bit more, consider to learn a little bit more about me by watching this very, very tiny video. Okay, learning Spanish in Costa Rica, how am I doing? Okay, I'm. let me just state it like this. I am learning Spanish in Costa Rica. I am. I And how? Well, I have classes from a private teacher, two times, one and a half hours. So that's a total of three hours per week. For now, five months. I am entering my sixth month. If I'm not four or five, no, I think it's going to be my sixth. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you want me to speak Spanish right here, right now? Why? Because no one is speaking back to me. So <laughs> I just want to be totally honest. My Spanish is perfect, far from perfect. Uh, but I always dreamed about waking up uh, after my move to Costa Rica, after two, three months, and I woke up understanding and speaking Spanish. Just like that. Well, isn't that how people want to learn everything that needs and required effort like if you already understood in my previous little video i have an online business do you think that fell from the sky that i just had that out of the blue heck no i studied i practiced i made a lot of mistakes so i learned along my way after moving to costa rica after living here for almost four years that i would not wake up one day i told myself muriel do you still believe that you're gonna wake up one day speaking spanish because if so, you would have been speaking it so far already for a long time. 
and I have another so this is like one just little story that I can share about it so especially for those who are I'm not talking to people who want to vacation in Costa Rica because of course knowing Spanish is handy but it's not necessary right but if you're living in Costa Rica I believe wherever you live even if you live in China you should learn or do at least your best to learn the language a little bit or give people the respect or the feeling that you do your best for understanding their language and with that culture. So <laughs> there's another story that I want to be clear about and honest about. Since I uh, have this YouTube channel, I hope that you can still hear me that it's not too windy. I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm gonna add some subtitles later, which I always forget to edit. So sometimes there's really weird typos in there that I didn't make, YouTube made those. But uh, yeah, there is a funny story that uh, according to my channel, since my channel started to grow, someone approached me asking me, hey, would you like to, um, to connect your face, your brand to our online learning platform? And we specialized in language learning, German, Spanish, and some other languages. And since you live in Costa Rica, it might be a good fit or a good offer that you can offer to your audience, your viewers. That means you, if you, where is my dog? Lucky! Sorry. Ah, there he is, yeah. If you have a dog, you cannot just not pay attention. Trust me. Good boy. I forgot to, to press stop and edit this out. But anyway, so um, yeah, I got offered this course to promote, but I can only promote stuff that I know myself. That should make sense, right? Uh, you cannot say, wow, that restaurant is awesome if you never ate there and if you don't like it. So I said, well, if you allow me to go through your course, your Spanish course, and I like it, I would be happy, more than happy to advise my subscribers who are thinking about moving to Costa Rica to take the course. And it's, of course, it's a win-win if they are helped and if I earn a small commission on the work of someone else because I don't want to teach people Spanish because I cannot teach Spanish. Heck, I'm still learning to speak Spanish. But at the end of the day, it was a free course for me. It used to be like 400 bucks, 500 bucks, between three and five, I actually forgot. For 12 weeks, once per week, one and a half hour with two other people. So there was like a mini class and a teacher. And the teacher was awesome. It was an online book. It was on Zoom. It fit totally my profile. I run my business online, right? I use a lot of Zoom for my one-on-one -on -one coaching students and my group coaching students. And so I'm totally confident with that. But what happened, it was so weird. Although I do everything online, I found out that I was not taking effort. I was not doing my homework a little bit, like last minute. I didn't find my way in the online learning book. I find it really, as an obstacle, although I'm very confident online and very, I'm used to working online and using technology in a smartphone and a desktop or a laptop whatsoever. Still, and uh, the teacher was amazing. She was kind, patient, motivational. She asked us questions, it just didn't work. Now my husband had to laugh when I said, I have a free access to this course now. Just, and he said, well, I just hired a one-on-one teacher downtown in Santa Teresa I need to drive there I don't care and I just got a paper book and I'm getting classes three hours per week just that, that I have now and guess what within three months he spoke a very good word of Spanish and I found out because when we run uh, errands in the town or when you know you need to get gasoline go to the garage those specific places he was really oh my look, really 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 doing well with his Spanish. Actually, people understood him without only using his hand and feet and monkey sounds when you, you know, referring to a monkey. I really, we call it monkey Spanish now, my teacher's joke. So, no, he was really doing great. So I thought, what the heck, you know, I really sabotaged myself here thinking that going for free to a course, not that it matters, but if you don't put your own skin in the game, you don't you don't decide, hey, I'm going to exchange this money for this course and I'm going to learn. Somehow that chip didn't work with me. And trust me, I paid thousands and thousands of dollars to several coaches and programs and whatsoever. It was always worth it. And those programs had results with me because 
I have put skin in the game. I put money in the game. So yeah, it didn't work for me the online thing. So after I was polite to finish the course anyways, out of respect of course and out of support for the other students, uh, I decided that I cannot promote this online course because it didn't work for me. <laughs> and I, I asked Dirk's Spanish teacher, Julia, do you have a spot for me? And she said, of course, my love. Your husband, Dirk, already told me that you would come really soon because you didn't have really success with your other courses. Is that right? I said, that's right. And I started the week after, literally. And I'm so happy. So this is one little anecdote about my learning Spanish in Costa Rica. Um, but now, so, okay, now I'm getting into the six months. How is my Spanish? It's so-so. I'm going to be really, really honest with you. Not to discourage you, but you know, I share everything I've learned. For me personally, again, if you've never heard, I am from the Netherlands, I'm from Europe. In the Netherlands, kids learn English and German and stuff. It's very close to us. And we learned French, I learned French. I could speak a good word of French. So I understand German, I speak Dutch, I speak kind of okay English. I hope so. Let me hear you show my comments what you think. And now uh, with the French in my back, in the back of my mind, people told me, oh, well, you know, a little French, it's easy to learn Spanish. At the end of the day, I still believe Spanish is not easy to learn, at least not for me. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying you should not start learning Spanish now before you're moving to Costa Rica, because that's actually my advice, guys. Start learning as soon as you can with something, at least that you have the foundation. Start learning words, start learning phrases, start learning activity words. So you can say, hey, I would like to, or we're driving, or just, you know, easy, just things that are happening in your world. Start writing those down practice them it will help you when once you're there uh, to learn faster now why didn't I learn Spanish before my move to Costa Rica well simply not because I didn't want to not because I was too arrogant but you know as a mom with two kids who are leaving her country from the Netherlands moved to Costa Rica and running my online business you know it was I was too busy or I thought I was too busy. I stated I was too busy. However, at the end of the day, looking up things on Google Translate and getting the wrong translation because Google Translate doesn't see the difference between female and male and all that jazz. If I think now back, it would have been less effort to start learning Spanish properly as soon as possible, even before the move, just for fun. Learning Spanish, you can also, if you're packing your stuff and, and and selling your home and all the stuff in there and you need some chill moments go watch Netflix if you still do that I once in a while watch some series and movies but watch them with uh, in Spanish or watch Spanish movies or series with the subtitles in your own language that definitely helps you at least to lay a foundation so you understand faster as soon as you start living in Costa Rica after you move to Costa Rica and when you start to learn Spanish. The cool thing, so the disadvantage of learning Spanish when you're not surrounded by Spanish speaking people is that the practice goes slower. Really, literally, so as soon as you are living in Costa Rica, like I do, there are still a lot of places, even where I live, uh, busy, touristy, Santa Teresa. There are so many people who do not speak a word of English. Like, for example, the ladies who are cleaning my house, you know, recently. They don't speak a word English. Perhaps yes and no, but that's basically it. So I really need to pressure myself <laughs> to practice what I've learned in my class. And that's the key to learn, if you ask me. There is another key um, to know, is that kids learn way faster than adults. So if you're still doubting is it a good choice to bring my kids to Costa Rica to start living there as a family and you're worried about your kids learning another language stop worrying about them worry about yourself the kids will they will find their way one way or another my son and my daughter were both Dutch 
course, because we are Dutch. My daughter spoke and understood more or less a little bit of English. My son, nada, solamente, only English, uh, sorry, only Dutch, nothing else. Within one year, he spoke, understood and wrote easily and effortlessly English. And that's pretty cool, right? Now, where's the Spanish? He's learning that right now. He's a little bit, you know, it took him a lot of effort to, uh, to read and write. Uh, overall, that's a different story. He's doing amazingly well. So now he's fluent English, fluent Dutch, and he's learning how to speak Spanish. And, you know, a lot of things that he's doing is in Spanish. So his trainer is teaching in Spanish. He has a Spanish teacher. And there's lots of things around him that is in Spanish. So he is absorbing it and trust my word on it. There will be one day soon that he speaks better Spanish than I am doing now. Although I have intensive classes. So don't you worry about your kids. They will make it. Although I believe that you should facilitate them and at least motivate them to learn Spanish and to speak Spanish and to have Spanish speaking friends and just help them with that okay it could be for fun if they're young listen to what i said uh spanish things and they will they have this chip that they that they just transfer the words into their own understanding i don't know how that works but it's really key. kids will make it you have to learn spanish why i believe really it is a must no excuses because the world opens up for you one, when people find out and notice that you take effort to learn their language, they are more open. They are more, I don't know, interested in you. There were, people are really, I've seen a change in people seeing that I could speak with them. Also, if it's just basic Spanish, like in an Uber, I was in Keppels a couple of weeks ago with my book, I brought my Spanish book. And, uh, in the taxi, uh, the guy asked me questions in English. Guess what I did? I replied back in Spanish. And he said, is this the first time uh, here in Costa Rica, all in Spanish? And I said, no, we live in Costa Rica. And for that reason, I'm speaking Spanish to you. Please speak Spanish to me and be patient with me. And he said, wow, that is so great. So, you know, the people are are speaking slower if you ask them to uh, they they really want to practice English with you that's a that's a trap so take, watch out for the trap that a lot of people want to learn from you then make a pact something like we help each other now we speak first five minutes Spanish and we speak five minutes English something like that it's really fun that way guys and um, I think you should put it on your core list to do in Costa Rica. Yes, I know you need to help your kids settle in. Yes, I know you probably are looking for your house or second house or whatever. If you're moving to Costa Rica like I did with kids, even without kids, it's a hustle, but there's a lot of stuff on your plate. Even if you're working online, I know there's people watching my videos, they work online, they have great income, but still you need to do your stuff. Now you have to learn a new language. You have to help your kids to settle or whatever you need to just provide food on the table and all that stuff make Spanish a priority and don't start yesterday start today or don't start tomorrow I must say but you should have started yesterday there are so many ways to learn Spanish so from a place of not speaking Spanish fluid I think I have the right to advise you this Please add some tips below if you think that I forgot to mention them. Uh, this is just a video, the way that I am, learning what I, you know, this is what I've learned. I really think that I can help others hearing this from me at this stage in their process of moving to Costa Rica and wondering, is it really necessary? If you are already speaking Spanish a little, oh, I am jealous of you in a good way. White wink wink, really. There's people, they live in places in the United States where they had Spanish in school. There's also people in the Netherlands who had Spanish in school. I wish I had Spanish in school, in high school, but I didn't. But it's never too late. I always say with everything, it was with my online business. By the way, if you want to learn more about that, right? I'm not sure if you saw me asking that. 
Not that this video is about building an online business, but if you're interested in how I build my online business, allowing me to live in Costa Rica with my family, so I do not have to rely on a job, a brick and mortar business, or teaching English online for a crappy, for a crappy paycheck, you want to travel or make money, whatever, like it could have many reasons, but then check out the description below my videos or hit me up on Messenger or click on one of my links or comment below, find your way to me and I will reply. Not always the fastest way, but I will reply. I don't have a virtual assistant yet and I don't want to because you know I'm gonna lose the contact with you and that's just so important to me. So leave all your comments and your questions and your thingies below in the comments. I would love to read them. And with that being said, I'm looking forward to hearing from you and who knows, meeting you one day in Costa Rica. Uh, that was it for now. Now I have to find my dog again. It's beautiful. Let me turn my screen really quick so you see what I see. You know what? I'm not going to turn my screen. I'm going to turn myself. This is uh, what I see. Uh, nice restaurant, El Carmen, Playa Carmen, Santa Teresa, Costa Rica, rain, rainy season, a lot of clouds, but also sun. It's a beautiful day of the moment. My son is kickboxing and I'm sitting here with my stuff, including a raincoat. <laughs> I just shared it yesterday in my other video, what to bring to Costa Rica, what to pack to Costa Rica. This is my cape. This is the proof that I am literally having here what I shared with you to bring, to use. And that's what I use, but now I'm rambling on. So thank you so much for watching really till the end. See you in my next video. Bye for now.